Hello and welcome to another edition of Athena Bite Size. Today we are talking about the five principles of effective feedback in lessons. Number one, be precise with the feedback. Whether you are giving praise or whether you are identifying areas for development, precision is really important. It helps the student know what they've got to focus on next. Second, feedback should be timely, immediate if possible. So making time in every single lesson at the end for students to give feedback, not just to you, the teacher, but feedback to each other on what they found difficult and what progress they made towards the learning objective. Number three, always give feedback so that it addresses learner advancements towards a goal. It is not about no. criticising, it is not about saying whether they've done something right or wrong, it is about how much progress that they've made in that particular lesson towards the learning objective. Number four, always present feedback carefully and encourage students to present feedback to each other with care. So the purpose is clear to both the person giving the feedback and receiving the feedback and always, always emphasize the positive and emphasize how they can improve rather than tell them how to complete a particular task. Feedback should be motivational, it should be aspirational. Number five, involve the learner at all times. Let the learners see where they are in their learning, both in terms of looking at their work and what they did and in the data that their work has produced. Share the data with them. At all times, feedback is about improving the learning.